What if there was a way to accept uncensorable donations anonymously for your cause? When you use Bitcoin, this is all possible. My name's Darren, and I'm gonna show you how to accept Bitcoin donations. All you need is a Bitcoin wallet, connection to the internet, and a cause to do so. In this video, we're gonna cover why you should consider accepting Bitcoin for your donations, the problems with ways we accept donations today, what you need to get started, and how to set up Bitcoin donations all on your own. Today, crowdfunding has exploded because of the internet. You can now reach millions of people for your specific cause. However, this is a bit of a double-edged sword. No longer are you going directly to a person or a company, writing them a check in their name, or giving money in person into a tip jar. But today, the majority of fundraising is all sent through platforms such as GoFundMe, Patreon. These companies take a cut of those donations and have the final say if you get the money or not. Today in Canada, there is a growing movement where not only Canadians, but people from around the world have donated, donated millions of dollars for this cause. The problem is the company GoFundMe who hosts the crowdsourcing platform and also holds the money on the sender's and the receiver's behalf. They have the say to whether it is legal, moral, just. Even though people from around the world have voted to donate to this cause, GoFundMe will have the final say on who gets that money, if they run away with that money, if they freeze that money, if they refund that money. So we're gonna go over some reasons Bitcoin donations might be far superior for your fundraiser. So the first problem Bitcoin solves for donations is custodial risk. A peer-to-peer -peer solution cuts out that middleman and ensures the sender and the receiver always have the funds. There is nobody in the middle holding or choosing where your money is going to go. Number two, they are accessible worldwide. All people need is an internet connection to send donations and a Bitcoin wallet to receive donations. Bitcoin will not discriminate on who receives the funds, who can send the funds. Everybody is playing a fair game. Third reason, it is anonymous or pseudonymous. So in order to use the Bitcoin network, there is no ID needed. There is no sign up needed to use the Bitcoin network. Many crowdsourcing platforms out there require you to sign up with your full name, your address, your email, bank account information. This gives up the privacy on who is donating and who is receiving those donations. So this could put not only the donors at risk, but also the receivers at risk as well. Number four, it is transparent. So though Bitcoin is anonymous, the public blockchain of all verified transactions is public. So you can actually see how much is in a specific address. You have the ability to use one address for your fundraiser to prove to your donors that this is how much you have and that you own that address. There is also ways around where you can use multiple address to protect your privacy as well. It is easy and reliable. The Bitcoin network is accessible 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is not gonna go down like a crowdfunding platform. It is not going to have maintenance like a crowdfunding platform. Transactions can be done instantly without having to wait till 9 a.m. Monday morning to get your funds cleared. So we're gonna talk about the easiest way you can set up Bitcoin donations for your cause, and that is with TallyCoin. So it is 100% free to get started. Pros of TallyCoin is that you can create a crowdfunding platform with a dedicated page and a goal for your cause. You can get Bitcoin sent directly to your personal wallet or your company's wallet. They have Lightning and on-chain payments in the exact same fundraiser page. There is a website plugin that you can add to your site, and there is the ability to connect to your own node. So to get started, the first thing you need is a Bitcoin wallet, and I have a lot of videos on my channel on how to choose the best Bitcoin wallet for you. So once you get started, you can create an account on TallyCoin. All you need to do is put in an email and a password, and then you'll have an account. So when you log in, you can log into your dashboard, and this will bring up all the settings on TallyCoin. The first thing you wanna do is put in a Bitcoin address. And this is where all of your funds are going to be received on chain. This is if you are looking for a transparent donation. So everybody will be able to see how much is in that address or when you move in or move out the coins. If you are looking for privacy in your donations, and this is a big problem in the Bitcoin space previously that TallyCoin has solved, you can put in an XPUB of your wallet. So what this means is it's your public key to your wallet. You put this in to TallyCoin as your address and it will generate a new address for people who donate. A lot more difficult to see on chain how much you've received 
to one specific address, even though it's all in one specific wallet that you own. Make sure it is not your private key, this is your public key that you're gonna be pasting in. To create a fundraiser, we are going to go to create new, and this will bring up our essential details. So you're gonna put in the fundraiser title, what your goal is, you can do this in Satoshi's Bitcoin or USD. This is just how it's going to be displayed. Your address will automatically populate here when you put in your address or your XPUB, or you can paste in a separate Bitcoin address um, for this specific fundraiser. Goal type, you can either have it monthly or ongoing. And then you're going to put in an image header if you'd like. You can put in all of your information below and you are going to press publish. And once it's published, it will be public on TallyCoin's Explore page. So you can see here, these are the most popular. So this is what will look like to the public. So if we are donating, you have this box here where you can choose how much you're gonna donate in your specific currency. You can write a public message. And then once you're ready, you can press on chain. This will populate an address that you can send to. You can see all the comments or contributions as people can put in specific messages. There is a share page in which you can copy a link to put it, to share it on social media. This works really well on a mobile device, comes up really clean. Or you can just copy the address directly from here. Now, if we go to the charts, we can actually see how much is on-chain versus how much is on Lightning payments. Lightning is a layer two solution of Bitcoin. It is instant, has close to unlimited transactions, and it is way cheaper. If anyone out there has a Lightning balance, they are more likely to spend than on the Bitcoin chain because they've converted their Bitcoin to Lightning, which is faster, easier, more anonymous payments, so they are more likely to spend. So you're gonna want to integrate the Lightning network into your donation. So in order to join the Lightning Network, um, you need a Lightning Wallet. You can do this easily by downloading the Wallet Moon, M-U-U-N, I have a video on my channel for that. Previously, you needed to run your own Lightning Channel, Lightning Node, Bitcoin Node in order to join the Lightning Network, but tools are making it a lot easier to do so. And TallyCoin, you can actually connect your own Lightning Node. Um, you can do this via the Umbral app if, you, if you're node runs an umbral software you can also do it through btc pay and all you have to do is paste in your api key here test the results and get it working if you do not have a lightning node do not want to set all that up yet there is also a way you can do it with open node and this is pretty much a stripe for bitcoin it is a service that allows you to create invoices have add to cart features, does all of the hard stuff in the background for you and you get your money sent directly to your wallet. Now it is KYC'd, so this is short for know your customer rules and regulations created by governments which make you take all of your personal information, including address, where you live, phone numbers, emails, what your company does, what income level they expect to use on the platform. It is an easy way to accept Lightning payments if you don't know anybody who has a node or if you don't have a node yourself. So that is how you crowdfund Bitcoin donations for your fundraiser. It is all permissionless, straight from the donor's hands to the receiver's hands. These whole recent events of GoFundMe has just been a walking advertisement for Bitcoin, where we now use a peer-to-peer -peer monetary network that has millions of people around the world rallying together to cut out these middlemen who keep taking away our free speech, our rights, and our money. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.